Well, today we're talking, taking a very basic lesson in Photoshop, and we're going to just talk about layers. So what are layers in Photoshop? Why do you use them? And when do you use them? Well, third question first, I use them anytime I'm making an adjustment. When you look at Photoshop, uh, if you look at the image adjustments menu, uh, pull-down menu, you'll see a bunch of commands, commands like levels, and curves, color balance, and black and white, and desaturate, and channel mixer, and photo filter, and all these things. Many of these items are also available through in the layers uh, dialog. I never use levels from here. I always use levels in the layers dialog. And uh, same thing with curves or, or many of these other items. So my third answer is that I use layers almost for every alteration that I'm going to do if I'm going to do it in Photoshop. And that begs the question what layers are and what good they are. And I, I'm going to go into that and show you mostly by just jumping right in. So let's take a look at the layers palette. If you arrange your workspace so that you're using the default workspace, you'll see the layers palette right here. If for some reason that layers palette was closed, you could just go into Window, Layers, and it would open it up. And so here's the layers palette. I, I like to drag these out to make it easier to work with, put it someplace close to my working area. So let's go ahead and open this up so we can look at it. So let's quickly take a look at the layers di uh, little uh, palette here. It tells us that it's a layer here. There's a, what we call a flyout menu here. And we'll use that a little later. We have um, this drop-down box that's grayed now, and the opacity box that's grayed. Some options right here, some options here. An eye, an, uh, this a picture of what's on the layer, um, the word, a, a label for the layer, and this is an icon that tells us that this layer is locked, partially locked. Okay. Down here, we have more controls, and we're going to use several of these. So, one of the first things that I indicated that I use layers for is to make adjustments to the photo. So, let's take this photo and make an adjustment, a basic adjustment, an adjustment that we might make in, uh, that, we, that we could have made up here in the image adjustments. If you come down to this black and white little circle here, this is... Uh, all of our adjustments that are available when we're in a normal layer. And I'm going to take levels, which is the same levels as we saw earlier. Well, here we go. Here's the layers command, and I'm not really going to talk too much about how to use the layers command, but levels command, excuse me. But let's go ahead and brighten up some of these, some of this information. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So I've made a change to this document. Now look over here in layers. What's happened is that we had this thing which was our background layer that was locked. And that's that's the initial photograph that came into Photoshop. And on top of that, remember these are layers, and so they are layered, is the adjustment that we made. This was an adjustment layer is what we call it. And if we, if we uh, click the eyeball and turn it off, you'll see that the photograph goes back to the way it was. Uh, and Click again and it comes back. If we double click the layers command, uh, the, uh, the thumbnail for the layer, which in this particular case looks like a little levels histogram, if we double click it, sure enough, the levels box opens up again and we can decide now we don't like the way we did that, and we can adjust it. And this brings up the first thing that I wanted to say about layers, is that it allows us to non-destructively edit our document. Now, how is that different than... I'm going to just duplicate this image so we can look at a copy of that. 
And in this copy, I'm going to throw away this level layers command, right? Our original will still be there. If we had gone to, oops, I only threw away a portion of it. So if we had gone to image adjustments and levels and made the change, and we did whatever we did, we would have no way to go back and edit that. We could go back into uh, we could go back into image adjustments levels and make a change again. But notice something. See how this histogram now looks funky. It's got lines through it. That means that data has been thrown away from this photograph that's never retrievable. And although I can continue to modify every time I make a modification. I'm throwing away more and more data. I may get the photograph looking the way I want, but I've made what we call destructive editing changes. And so this is really the first reason <coughs> why we might want to use layers, is it allows us to non-destructively edit our document.